Though Killian Tilly's career has been marked largely by injuries, he's one of the better players in the 2020 NBA draft, and despite those injury concerns, he's still worthy of a first round pick because of his talent. So we're going to go through some Killian Tilly plays and break down what makes him so good. The first thing to note is his passing, which is preternatural at 6 foot 10. And let's look at this first play where, where Killian Tilly is going to get the ball on a short roll from Joel Yai, and Right now, he is staring down Ryan Woolridge in the weak corner, so this help defender is going to follow his eyes and expect to pass to Woolridge and cover it, but Tilly is manipulating him. This defender shoots at Woolridge, and he's kicking to Gilder for the wide open three. Let's pull this one back a little bit. In full speed, let's watch it. Tilly stares at Woolridge, kicks to Gilder. This defender is fooled. On this next play, they set up a high pick and roll on the right side, Tilly on the left side. And Ryan Woolridge has Philip Petrusive on this pass over the top. Tilly hits this overhead pass, this big to big pass all the time, but Woolridge isn't seeing it. So Tilly takes matters into his own hands. He flashes right to the middle and makes the pass himself. That's an immediate decision on the catch. And not even just the decision is the most impressive part here that decision the speed of decision and accuracy is impressive but the most impressive thing here is the recognition to kind of take this play into his own hands and see the opening without the ball and make this happen that's just a great example of his 360 degree court awareness at all times uh, this next play killian tilly's gonna get the ball in the post and he gets double teamed by two big players right here i believe that's cameron and kessler edwards so there's not it doesn't look like there's much open right here he could potentially try to slip it to woolridge here maybe a tough skip to kissward or yai but not much but but killy doesn't really care about this opening he sees that his man philip petrusive has a smaller defender on him so he trusts his big man like a quarterback, trusts their big wide receiver until he throws it up to where only Petrusive can get it and finishes. This is really, really impressive, not only for the read, but throwing over two large defenders with their outstretched arms. Tilly, this pass is on the money, leading Petrusive to a spot where only he can catch it, gather, and finish. Next, they're playing BYU, and Tilly's going to be switched on to Jake Toulson in the post, and that's definitely a mismatch, and BYU's going to want to get rid of that. So while the ball is in the air, Gilder enters at Tilly, they're going to try to off-ball switch here. You see Child shades towards Tilly, and Toulson's going to run to pick up a Yai. Normally, this, this play against many college big men is going to be effective, getting your your switch guard off of the postman, so Child's going to get back in guard, but not against Tilly, Killy and Tilly, who is all over these antics, who punishes this off-ball switch with an immediate pass to the cutting a yai right on the catch this immediate decision making is a trend as i'm sure we've been seeing so he he notices this off-ball switch and he knows byu's tricks he's not their antics cannot fool tilly though aside from his passing killian tilly is a fantastic shooter and dribbler at six foot ten and Gonzaga will often run perimeter action for Tilly like he's a guard. Here we see a 4-5 pick and roll with Protrusive and Tilly. He gets downhill and cans a floater. Aside from that insane touch, let's watch this driving technique back. Killy and Tilly gets low to the ground. His torso is almost parallel to the ground right here. That's a hallmark of great slashers dipping their shoulder and gaining leverage on the defender, but Tilly's a 6'10 big man doing this stuff and finishing soft touch with a floater. Now let's go to defense where Tilly's mobility and instincts serve him as a rim protector and a general team defender and an individual defender. He's really great on that end too. So his man's going to flash middle setting up a backdoor cut and Corey Kispert gets beat on the jump. No worries though. Tilly has it covered, sees his man and spikes that ball away. Against Washington here, they run a high pick and roll and Gonzaga's going to double quad eight green. And when Corey Kispert goes to cover Jaden McDaniels, that leaves Killian Tilly in a two-on-one situation. He has the corner right here, and he has Isaiah Stewart to worry about in the middle. Normally, this is a difficult situation for many players, but Killian Tilly doesn't really get faced here. He picks right, anticipating this pass middle and stealing it. And it's worth noting that Quad A Green is pretty poor passing with his left hand, so Killian Tilly possibly knows this and is less worried about this pass in the corner. So Quad A pivots and tries to hit the middle here. Tilly's all over it. 
here against Arizona till he gets a big block initially, but he doesn't give up on the play. Josh Green is going to see Chase Cheater open till he reacts quickly and swipes that ball away. Let's look at that hand-eye coordination. The hand speed and placement needed to swipe this ball away without fouling is wild, and that's just a great play by Tilly. And lastly, though, his injuries have definitely zapped some of his perimeter mobility. Tilly can still move on the perimeter well above average with big man, so here he switched on to a pretty good guard in Colby Ross, and he sticks with him, sliding with his drive middle and forcing a tough shot. So that's Killy and Tilly. Such an incredible prospect, and I really wish the best for him because he's really fantastic and fun. So hopefully a good team can snag him in the 2020 NBA draft. And and if he stays healthy, there's a chance Killian Tilly has a really, really long NBA career ahead of him.